The Giants wanted to trade cornerback James Bradbury before the draft to free up cap space. Well, the draft is over and the Bradbury situation is still lingering. SNY NFL reporter Ralph Dacchiano has been following the situation and joins us to talk about what's next for JB and the Giants. Now, Ralph, the Giants drafted only one corner, and that was LSU's Cordell Flott in the third round. Does that give the Giants or Bradbury leverage in the situation? You know, it's interesting. I'm not sure that it changes the leverage for anyone. You know, from Bradbury's perspective, he didn't have much of a say in this. It's the Giants' decision whether to trade him or cut him. Uh, you know, he's not going to want to take a pay cut so, to help them out. So it's really what what will the Giants do? And their hands are tied by the finances more than anything else and the trade market. And, and that's where I think is the biggest leverage issue coming out of this draft because nine cornerbacks were taken in the first two rounds when the Giants passed on all of them. You know, they didn't get that replacement for James Bradbury, but nine other teams who might have been looking for a cornerback on the market found a corner that's going to be you know, a good young player, an inexpensive player, and now if they ever were likely to want to trade for James Bradbury, now they're not going to do it. So the market just dried up in this draft, and it's going to force the Giants' hands to where, you know, to make a trade, they're either going to have to eat some money or take a lot less than they wanted, or they might just have to cut them, which is something they don't want to do. Okay, let's talk about the, forcing the Giants' hands because in your article posted on SNY TV, you wrote Giants GM Joe Shane knows he has to figure this out sooner than later. What options are he left with? What is he left with? Yeah, not many good ones. And he does know uh, that he's got to do this soon. I think he wants to have it wrapped up before the mini camp in June. His options are they could restructure some of James Bradbury's contract. It doesn't save a lot of money. They have $6 million in cap room right now. They need at least $12 million just for their draft class, more for a practice squad and injured players and such. So restructuring doesn't do the job. They can cut him, uh, which clears off his $13 million salary. That would certainly help. But then they're without a starting number one cornerback. Uh, you know, they, they could give him a contract extension, but I don't know why he would accept it. We could He could just force their hand and maybe get more money someplace else. And then the other one, which they might have to do if they want to keep him, is restructure some of the bigger contracts on the team. Leonard Williams, Kenny Galladay. But Joe Shane said that was a last resort, in part because the previous regime did so much restructuring. That's how they got into this cat mess in the first place. So the fewer restructures he can do, the better. Again, there, there's options to keep Bradbury, but really none of them are, are good options for the Giants. Well, it looks like the Giants are off the clock from the draft, but back on the clock when it comes to the James Bradbury situation. Ralph, thanks a lot for joining us. My pleasure.